Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to see the working of this tiny module which is called a logic level shifter. So what exactly a logic level shifter? A logic level shifter is a device which uh, shifts a high voltage level to a low voltage level or vice versa. Shifters which convert low to high or high to low, any one and they are called as unidirectional level shifters. What I have here is a bidirectional logic level shifter which means it can shift both high to low and as well as um, low voltage to high voltage. I have drawn the schematic of the level shifter here. So it actually con uh, consists of uh, three major components. Here as you can see uh, we have uh, HV1, HV2, HV3, HV4, LV1, LV2, LV3, LV4. So these represents four channels so yeah first channel second channel third channel fourth channel this is the common hv high voltage ground low voltage ground. so let's see the working if you want to convert a low voltage like 3.3 volt to high voltage for example 5 volt then you have to give 3.3 to low voltage this pin and 5 volt to this pin h high voltage pin and uh, for example, um, a PAR sensor and Arduino. If you want to interface these things, Arduino pins accept 5 volts. PAR sensor gives output as 3.3 volts. So let's assume you have connected uh, the output of PAR sensor to LV3 and uh, this HV3 to any one of the Arduino pin. Arduino pin. Okay, uh, here as you can see, uh, this is an N channel MOS FET, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So it is actually uh, a four terminal device. It consists of source, drain, gate, and the other terminal is the substrate. Uh, substrate is uh, usually connected to source, so it will be a three terminal FET. The gate terminal, the gate of this MOS FET is always connected to low voltage. So not only this MOS FET, there will be uh, a similar kind of FET for channel 4, channel 1 and channel 2. The gate terminals of all the FETs are connected to uh, low voltage only. Uh, the PIR sensor gives the output of 3.3 volt but Arduino accepts only 5 volts. So we have to shift 3.3 to 5 volt. So what actually happens is when it gives 3.3 voltages, uh, the source voltage Vs it will be 3.3 volt and gate Vg it will also be 3.3 volts. So Vgs the difference between these two Vgs will be zero, and therefore there will be no channel formation in the MOS FET and MOS FET will be uh, will not be conducting. So uh, at the drain uh, the HP3 is pulled up to 5 volt by this 10 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, when the MOS FET is not conducting, uh, the output will be 5 volt only because it is pulled up to 5 volt. So what happens when the PIR sensor is not giving any output? When it is not giving any output that is 0 volt, uh, Vs that is the source voltage will be 0 and uh, therefore the VGS potential difference between gate and source will be high. It will be 3.3 voltages because we have kept the gate voltage constant to 3.3 volts. So now there will be a channel formation and the MOS FET will be conducting. The drain line of the MOS FET which is connected to the Arduino which is a high voltage device will be pulled down to a low level by the PIR sensor via the conducting MOS FET. In other words, this 0 volts which is here comes here. That's it. So MOS FET will be conducting. This 0 volts will come here, which means the line, the source line and the drain line become low at the same voltage level. So the same thing happens for all the channels, channel 1, 2 and 4, channel 3. Of course, the ground is connected to Arduino ground, here PIR ground. So uh, if you want to learn more about it, uh, I have a document here as you can see. Uh, this is BSS138IC which we have used here. 
So this is the n-channel logic level enhancement mode field effect transistor. So as you can see the diagram here, this is the same thing which I've drawn here. So uh, if you want to learn more about these ICs and the working, I have attached some documents in the description so you can find it there. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me. Um, so that's it about this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.